Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and accessories you'd like me to run with, and I will pick one of the top rated comments for the next episode. Today's top comment comes from Michael Kilduff. He says, Master Chief Loadout, the F2000 Special Sight, which is the custom sight for the F2000, the Ergo Grip, and Laser Sight. Now I did make a bit of a mistake with this loadout and forgot to expand the comments section there. There was a bit more going on with the loadout and I only just realized that now while editing it. There was a uh, M1911 with a 3 times scope as a sidearm which I didn't run with for the loadout. And that would have been a little bit more exciting and kind of replicated the Master Chief's pistol. Now this loadout is really cool because the F2000 does look a lot like the assault rifle from Halo Combat Evolved. And curiously both the weapon and the game came out at very similar time periods. Peers. They are certainly in development during the same time frame and you can't help but wonder if one influenced the other and people actually did ask this question to the weapon designer from Halo and it turned out that he was just unaware of the F2000 until about three or four months after the game shipped and then he thought oh great now everyone's gonna think I swiped the design from FN. So it's just kind of a coincidence that both guns look so similar. Now one cool thing about using the custom sight on the FN is that it has its own custom magnification that no other optic in Battlefield 4 offers. That is a 1.6 times magnification. And I actually like this sight despite its massive housing which does obstruct a lot of the screen. There's just something about a 1.6 times magnification that I find really really agreeable. I can be a little bit more accurate with it and it doesn't really cause me too much tunnel vision even for close quarter fighting. Now in game the F2000 is a beast that has an 850 round per minute rate of fire making it one of the higher damaging assault rifles that you can get which is going to make it great for just absolutely obliterating people in close quarters. You can even notice that at medium range I'm able to drop a lot of people which didn't always used to be the case with the F2000. It used to have really bad side to side recoil making it harder to control and very hard to be precise at long ranges. Since the most recent weapons patch it's got a massive reduction in side to side recoil and is now much more effective at longer ranges especially with short burst firing. Another thing that I really like about this 1.6 times optic is that it's the only close range optic in the game that has dark crosshairs in it. Everything else is a red dot sight which can be a little bit hard to follow especially in the brighter maps. Now if you have the laser pointer on here which I do and I'm using the green laser sight it almost acts as if you have a little red dot or a green dot in this case in the center of your optic anyway so you kind of get the best of both worlds and it would be cooler to see more optics in Battlefield that actually had black targeting reticles in them because I find it much easier to track those in brighter environments and then have the red dot for the darker environments and that's how a lot of optics actually work in real life now. Sadly the F2000 has a bit of a reload speed issue. 2.7 seconds for the short, 3.9 for the long uh, can make it very tricky to use in close quarter combat. And I saw a few comments in the last video I did where I was talking about reload speed and uh, that really affecting your performance in close quarters. People saying, oh, quit complaining about this. Other games have way longer reload speed than Battlefield. And yes, this might be true, but Battlefield is an incredibly fast paced game. It might look like a super militaristic shooter, but at its core it becomes very, very fast paced, almost on par with an arena shooter, some of the TDM game modes. So your reload speed actually is a really big factor. And considering that being defensive in this game is not as viable a tactic anymore because of mortars and UCAVs and other things that can basically blow you up even if you are hiding behind cover. It becomes a beneficial tactic to be more aggressive rather than staying in one spot and that's where you're going to need a faster reload. Now that I've switched over to a map like Operation Locker where mortars and UCAVs are not as big of an issue, uh, basically you'll see that I've kind of transitioned to a little bit more of a campy game style and that's simply because I just can't really be too aggressive with this gun uh, as I'm going to get about two kills per mag in CQB and then I'm going to have to switch to a sidearm and then I'm pretty much dead and considering that it's a packed locker server even getting three kills in close quarters is not going to keep me alive and I'm all about longevity in this game. If you're going to make a push you want it to succeed you don't want to just run in there get a few kills and then die. You also notice that I'm switching my laser sight on and off depending on what kind of combat I'm in. Usually if I see a lot of smoke being thrown down and people are using that a lot more now that smoke grenades last long 
longer and it's more viable in terms of using it as a visual cover technique, turn off your laser sight. It'll spot you right through that cloud of smoke and you will be dead and you will not even see the guy that shot you. So as soon as that smoke starts billowing up or there's a lot of smoke just left over from rockets or different kinds of grenades and stuff like that, just turn off the laser sight and you'll do a lot better. I try and keep them on whenever possible for the sake of loadout requirements, but especially for long range combat where you're not expecting anybody to even get close to you anytime soon, turn off that laser sight because it's going to spot you even if you're in a great little hiding spot. Somebody's going to see that bright red or bright green dot across the map and all of a sudden bullets are going to come flying your way. Now Golmud Railway is a great TDM and domination map at the beginning of the round. As the round progresses there's a lot of destruction in this map which a lot of people like but it also kind of breaks down the pathing of the map. And are you guys ready to see an awesome intentional double kill? Totally meant to do this. Poor guy ran around the corner just at the wrong time. Also, this little house all the way off in the corner of this map here is probably one of the most underrated structures in the game. Very few people tend to go out here, and if you take advantage of it, you can get a lot of kills and do a lot of good flanking. Now, if you're playing in a high ticket server, something like 400 tickets or more, then you're certainly gonna see everything get broken down, and by the end of the match, it's gonna go from being a really good close quarter map with lots of good flanking rats to nothing but long range and sniping. And if you're running a CQB gun, all of a sudden you're gonna notice that you're doing way less damage and being way less successful towards the end of the round. If I were playing a non-loadout setup on this map, I would definitely switch to Sniper towards the end of the game round to get more kills. And finishing it up on Team Deathmatch Silk Road, this map can be a lot of fun, but it also falls victim to basically UCAV spam, mortar spam, and stuff like that. It's very open with not a lot of overhead cover, so lots and lots of exposed infantry. I just try and be as aggressive as possible on this map, constantly moving my position and pushing up to the front line. When you're running a slower reload gun like the F2000, it's important to get into a rhythm. Peek out, get a kill, reload the gun in safety maybe even back up a bit while you're reloading push back up to the front line get a kill or two back up and reload it's kind of a slower process than some of the other fast reload guns but it can certainly still be done and you can still be aggressive that pretty much wraps it up for this episode of loadout the f2000 is a decent gun it's not the greatest but i like it a lot mostly because of the aesthetics don't forget to leave your comments down below letting me know what kind of gun and accessories you'd like me to run with for the next episode. And I'll see you guys next time. This is Levelcap signing off.